Okay. I just got back from H Mart. I had watched a video online, um, and the video was like, um, everyone trying out all these different Korean snacks. It was a crate box, I think it was. A crate box where they were trying snacks from Korea. So I was watching the video, and I was like, I want to try this. I want to try this. So <laughs> I'm looking around because I'm looking at everything that I got. Um, I went to H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store, um, and I got a couple things. So I got a Royal Milk Tea, which I don't think I saw anyone drink it on this specific um, clip that I was thinking that I'm thinking about. But I've seen someone try it in a different video. And I don't remember if they, it was good or not. But the reason I tried these different things because they actually said they were good. Um, and they said these were good. Pepero? Pepero? Pepperio? Pepero? Pepero. Um, and then I got another drink, um, which I'm kind of sad because they only had a six pack. But it's milk is. Milk is. You can see that. Milk is. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of nervous to try them. I'm going to try this one first, because for some reason I'm kind of really nervous about this. It's a sangria. Royal milk tea. The finest blend of black tea. Infused with 25% milk. Um, and I also have it pulled up online, so like you can see, like, um, Amazon has them. Oh, oh, those prices are crazy. A 12 pack, $50. That's insane. Oh my gosh. It's quite hard. Okay, it looks. I'm like looking for something. Like, I want you to see what how it looks. Okay, I went and got a glass so you, you can see what it looks like. It looks, to call it a sangria, it looks like iced coffee. Um, it looks like iced coffee. Oh no. I don't know what that smell is, um, but it looks like iced coffee. Oh, it kind of smells weird. Oof. It tastes like, I can't even explain what, it's like a tea almost, like it's weird, it's like a, like an Arizona tea, it has the aftertaste of the Arizona tea, but it tastes like, almost coffee-like. Um, I don't know. It's, and I made a mess, so fuck that shit. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it has the aftertaste of the Arizona tea. You know, like, I don't know, Arizona tea just has, like, a weird kind of, like, aftertaste. Like, a sweet tea. That wasn't too good. Um... I gotta try to open the... The milk is. I was actually really excited to get the milk is. Like I couldn't find it when I was there. Um, okay, okay. I couldn't find it when I was there. Like I walked around the store and I could not find it, so I had to go ask um, one of the workers, and he pointed me in the direction of it. And here it is. And there's a four pack, a six pack. So hopefully I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it enough to want to drink these all. I don't know. Um. So I still have that aftertaste of that. And I don't want it to ruin it. Because one of the main reasons when I watched the video, I was like, oh, I have to go find this. Um, it was because they were all skeptical and they were like, milk is. Um, but everyone seemed to really like it that um, tried it. So milk is. Refreshing yogurt flavor. Original carbonated drink. New feeling of soda 
soda beverage, no caffeine. Um, yogurt flavor, soybean. So, milk is. Milk is. Milk is. Okay, the smell of it is like. Like a mellow yellow squirt. Like a mellow yellow or squirt. Um, it doesn't smell bad. Um, it's like... See, it looks kind of like a mellow yellow. Huh. Hmm. You know, let's see. I'm looking online now, Amazon. It's not, oh wow. Apparently they have different flavors. This is original. There's a banana flavor. There's an apple, a strawberry. I don't know. It's like I've tried this. It's like a floral, I want to say almost grape-like, mellow, yeah. no. It's almost like a Sprite with milk. Or maybe not a Sprite with milk, but like a Sprite with a little bit of yogurt. Not for me. Okay. This should be good. Um, apparently, this is basically cookies on a cream, cookies and cream on a pretzel. And I've seen things like this all around. Um, but I just haven't tried them. And if you're like, bitch, why'd you buy the whole fucking box? Okay, so this box was $3.99 um, as opposed to me buying like a small one, which I think was to something and I figured if I liked them a lot then I got extra um, and I mean I like cookies and cream so how can I not like them okay pepper roll. white chocolate oh wait it says something here white cookie a <laughs> uh, white cookie um, Korean number one brand. Korea's number one brand. Chocolate and biscuit. Oh, open. It, it does not smell good. It smells like ass crack shit. Oh. I guess maybe it's not supposed to smell good, but I guess maybe cookies and I never smell cookies and cream, so I just don't know. Yeah, see it? It doesn't look bad. Um, It's like a cookies and cream stick, but in my head, I'm just like, no. And my head is just not working out. It doesn't taste nasty. It doesn't taste nasty at all. It just tastes, I think it's like mentally. I think my head is not allowing me to like it because it does not say cookies and cream on it. Or Nestle. Um, I think that's what it is. I think in my head, it's just, my head's fucking with me and. No. Nah. No, nah, it's not like that. On a side note, I don't know if you've heard of Imperfect Produce. Okay, you know, Imperfect Produce is a company 
that basically gets produce that's considered imperfect. Like the grocery store gets too much um, bananas or the bananas as opposed to them like having a nice smile, they're like, I don't know, zigzagged or the cherry tomatoes are too big. Um, imperfect produce basically gets these produce, this produce and sends it out back to people. Um, and I heard about it on Facebook, watching one of those videos, um, and I really got into it, like intrigued into it. So I started to do a little research and I looked it up online. Um, and then I watched some videos also. After watching all the videos, I was like, okay, I want, I want to try this. I want to try it. I just want to get at least one box just to get a box, you know? Um, so I finally tried it. Well, not tried it. I signed up. I signed up and... My first box. Let's see. Oh, it's a mess. Let's see if we can see it. So my first box will be here on Wednesday, May 9th. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, like, I'm actually really, really excited. I don't eat much produce normally or whatever, but I'm really excited to get this little package. I think it's going to be... I don't know what I think it's going to be, but I'm excited to get it. I'm excited to just feel like I'm doing something for the world or for the greater good of mankind by accepting this imperfect produce into my life. Um, so, yeah. Once my stuff comes, I'm going to make a video. I'm looking at the time. So, they're going to deliver it between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Between Wednesday, 6 a.m., 6 p.m., and Thursday, 6 a.m. Hopefully that's not an issue, and hopefully I can get it. And until then, subscribe, maybe like the video, maybe. Bye.